do not go in details just discuss only the basics how to find out the sum of the roots and the product of the roots for hiding equations and if i take the inequality part of the higher degree equation the inequality part so for example if i say x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 is greater than 0 okay. so here also what we can do simply draw it on the number line here the critical points are 1 2 and 3 now if you look at it, if you take any value greater than 3 okay, if i take any value greater than 3 this will be positive if I take any value greater than 3, this will be positive. And if I take any value greater than 3, this will be positive. So, positive into positive into positive will get positive. So, it means we will get a graph like this one, positive. Okay, above the line. Okay. Now, between 2 and 3. Okay. Let's say for a moment 2.5. If I choose 2.5, now 2.5 here, I will get positive. 2.5 here, I will get positive. But if I put 2.5 here, I will get negative. So, positive into positive into negative will get negative. So, it means my graph will be like this one between 2 and 3. We are getting a value which is below this line, negative values. Similarly, you take any values between 1 and 2. Let us say for a moment 1.5. If I choose 1.5, 1.5 minus 1 is positive, 1.5 minus 2 is negative, 1.5 minus 3 is negative. So, here positive into negative into negative that will give me the value which is positive. So, if the value is positive, I will get a graph like this one. And finally, if I choose any value less than 1, I will get this is negative, this is negative, this is negative. And the product of these three negative numbers are negative, so my graph is like this one. So, we have got a graph like this one, positive, negative, positive and negative. But here, we are asked about the product of these three that must be greater than 0. So, that is greater than 0 which is only possible if x is greater than 3, x is lying between 1 and 2. That is it. So, this is my complete solution. Had it been negative, so I should take x is less than minus 1 or the value of x is lying between 2 and 3. If it is like this one, if I say x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 divided by x minus 4, which is less than 0. So, in this case, what I need to do, multiply both the side by x by 4 ka whole square. I remember that the x by 4 whole square is always positive. So, when I multiply both the side by positive, there will be no change on the sign. So, multiply both the side by x minus 4 whole square. So, I'll, in that case, I will get x minus 4 into x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 less than 0. But, x cannot be equal to 4. Okay. Because, if I take x equal to 4, it will become out to be something by 0, which is not defined here in this case. Now, again, follow the same process. My critical points are what? 1, 2, 3 and 4. If I put any value greater than 4, I will always get positive. So, this one. Between the 4 and 3, I will get negative. Between 3 and 2, I will get positive. And between 2 and 1, I will get negative and like this one. So, this is positive, negative, positive, negative and the positive. And since we need the negative values, so my answer comes out to be x must lies between 3 and 4 and the value of x, it must lies between 1 and 2. Now, let us move to the next part that is functions and the graph. So, we start with the function, uh, let us say if I say the function is f of x. Now, the important thing is what is the definition of the function or how you define the function. Uh, the most important point here is that the definition of the function is that for one value of x, there should be one and only one value of y. 
if I am defining that y is equal to f of x. So for one value of x, there should be only one value of y, there cannot be two values of y. For example, if I say y is equal to x square, if I put x equal to 1, I get only the value of y as 1. So we can say that this is basically the function. But if I take the example like this one, uh, y is equal to root of x square or root of x. If I take the value of x equal to 4, I get the value of y is equal to plus minus 2. Now, here for one value of x, we are getting two values of y. So, that's why this is not a function. Okay. So, that's why the square root function is always defined as y is equal to plus root of x. And remember one thing, even if the plus sign is not mentioned, by default you are supposed to take this as a positive. So, when I am saying that y is equal to square root of 4, that is basically you have to take it as a plus 2, never the minus 2. Okay. Because the function for one value of x, there should be only one value of y. So, square root function is always taken as the positive one. Okay. And if I show the graphical, so we can definitely say that This is a function because for every one value of x, we are getting a unique value of y. But the graph like this one, okay, we cannot say that this graph represents a function. Because if I choose any one particular value of x, let us say at this particular point. So, at this point of x, we are getting three different values of y. So, this is not a function. For one value of x, there will always be one value of y for function to be defined. Now, let us talk about the, what are the different types of functions are there. 